Let's get into this. He's talking to Christian people. He's mad at them. He's, they're provoking him to jealousy and anger. What are they doing? Christmas and Easter. And what does that do? It pollutes the children. You're teaching them to lie. They're, you're teaching them to, to put out a drink offering, uh, milk and cookies for Satan claws. They're following the ways of the heathen rather than the book. They're trying to blend in. They're trying to make it user-friendly, their own self-righteousness, rather than teaching the, the lost sheep of the house of Israel the truth. This is exactly what the church is doing. And those arrogant pastors, trust me on this, I call them. I physically, deliberately, literally call them. And I talk to them. And I warn them. I plead with them. Sometimes I beg them. And they are the most arrogant people in the world to tell them they've done something wrong. They, they, would, they would sooner give their wife to uh, prostitution than to admit they're wrong about the Bible. That's the way pastors are. They are extremely arrogant. They are smiley and everything like that when you're worshiping them on the stage. But when you correct their doctrine, which we, the way the Acts Church is, is that you were supposed to actually interact with people. There was no appointed man to stand up on the stage and have security in the back of the foyer, making sure nobody interrupts him. That's not the way the synagogues worked in Yeshua's days. 